Hello everyone, I am Spikezilla Productions. Today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. Today we're going to be looking at the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Glamrock Chica action figure. Now, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I used, to, I am a big fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. I don't really talk about that much though. But uh, yeah. And this figure was actually, I actually repackaged her for the sake of this video. But pretty much this is for the, uh, it's, I'm making this video because of the new FNAF game that's coming out. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the packaging first. So, we got Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach, Funko, Collectible Action Figure, Glam Rock Chica, Warning choking hazards. Zude, small parts, not suitable for children under 36 months. On the back, we got Funko. Manufactured by ages 8 and up. 2020, Scott Cawthon. Fuck him. Uh, made in China. Uh, and then it just tells you who it's distributed by in uh, different countries. And then you got this, and then I don't know what this logo is right here. Can someone please tell me? We got barcode, whatever that is. You got like all the links, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Funko.com. You know, just letting you know all the dangers that this figure supposedly has. And then the other figures available are Freddy, Roxanne, Montgomery Gator, and um, uh, Fanny. So now let's take Chica out of her packaging and get a closer look at her. And I did open up her this her up uh, intentionally like this so that way I could preserve the package. Never got her. off to the side and we take let's pop out her guitar first so here is Glamrock Chica out of her packaging and I have to say she looks pretty good although not entirely game accurate from what we saw in the trailer she still looks pretty good I know a lot of people say that, oh, she just reuses the Five Nights at Freddy's one Chica head. She actually doesn't. Her beak is a little bit bigger, and her face looks completely different. Not to mention the FNAF 1 Chica figure's beak was a separate piece and not a part of the head sculpt like how it is on this one. On this figure. For details, she has sort of like... A smooth but also kind of bumpy detailing which is odd considering these animatronics from the trailer appear to be made out of metal or at least plastic but you know she has her bow she has the markings on her face she has her earrings to although her shoulder pads aren't exaggerated exaggerated and stuff she still looks pretty accurate, for the most part, accurate. If they were to uh, change the head, that would make her a little bit more accurate. But I would do say that this is as accurate as we can have right now. For an accessory, she has a, um, a guitar, which you can put into her hands relatively easily. Although I think you're gonna want to use how I do it. I put this end of the guitar in her right hand, and then I put the big end of the guitar in her right hand, in her left hand, just so that way I can, you know, make her look. Oh. There we go. Oh, her arm popped off again. <laughs> well, 
This happens sometimes. That's the only complaint I have about this figure, but other than that, it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, you can get a Chica to uh, hold her guitar. Like so. Anyways, let's move on to her articulation, shall we? So, for articulation, she has a ball-jointed head. It can, she can look up about that far and down about that far. Her arms are on a ball joint, but are limited due to the body and the shoulder. And for some reason, the elbows are double ball jointed, but then again, I think it's because of the construction of her. But her elbows, she her elbows can go back about that far and forward about this far. Her hands are on a swivel, but also somewhat on a ball joint, I think. I can't really tell, but I'm pretty sure it's just the way that it was pegged in. Same thing on the other side. Ball joint. Hinge and ball joint. Or well, hinge-like movement, I should say. And swivel. And swivel. Her waist is... She has a waist swivel, so she can go all the way around. Her thighs are on a ball joint. Well, not thighs, but legs are on a ball joint. <laughs> they can go up about this far, down about that far, and out this far. So she can't really do the splits, or else she'll fall over. And once again, due to the weird engineering, her legs are somewhat double jointed but this one's actually the ones on the legs are a little tighter so I'm pretty sure this is the way the articulation is meant to be but the legs can go the legs can spin and can go back this far and and can't really go forward for size comparisons with Chica we have the Mezco King Kong Add it all on scale. The SH Monster it's GMK Godzilla. The SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2019. The NECA Godzilla 1994. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on this guy. Um, uh... The Hasbro Jabba Glob. The NECA poster version Kong. If you're wondering why I'm only showing so random figures, it's because I don't have my FNAF fig. My other FNAF figures are in storage currently. Um, uh, Kenner, Jura the Lost World, Jurassic Park, um, uh, Baby T Rex. I messed up on this guy in the. Um, uh, video I call them the Fallen Kingdom. Um, uh, baby T Rex, when well, that's not a thing. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Please let me know if you guys want to see more, uh, videos. If there's anything that you guys saw in this video that I haven't done a review yet. Please comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.